I've started by printing the stands out of the ABS. I'm using Golden ABS Plus by Isan. This build requires 4 stands in total. I didn't use any special settings. There are some slight issues on the bottom, but those won't affect the functionality. Two square blocks are required as well, those are needed only for the front. I will use M3 screws with T-nuts to secure the stands in place. Screws are just long enough so that will secure the stands in place but won't scratch the extrusions. I will mount the front stands first as I find them easier to install. Those rubber stands need to be removed first. Those won't be required later on so we can throw them away. And now I can install the front stands. All of the stands have this groove on them which needs to be in on the outward side of the extrusion. I will have to prop up the printer in order to install the back stands. I've used a roll of Captain tape to get the printer just high enough. Rubber on the back has to be removed as well. And this is how it looks like with all the stands attached. Captain tape can now be removed. Printer looks good so far. It's a bit higher now, but that's because electronics will be on the bottom later on. Here I've got square pieces which will be used to install the front grill. The front grill itself is assembled out of three separate pieces. It took really long to print. There are two pieces which are basically the same but mirrored. Centerpiece is unique and there is only one like it used for this build. Centerpiece requires four inserts which will connect all of the pieces together. All of the plastic parts are connected to each other using 6mm M3 screws. I've left it a bit loose so that I can better adjust it when it's mounted on the frame. Square blocks are meant to be installed right here on both sides of the frame. I will use those 60mm M4 screws to install both sides. Screws go through front grill, then through square blocks and finally connect to the frame. I've actually left both mainboard gasket and LCD attached to the frame as I will replace them way later on. Right now I will use the printer in its semi-original configuration. I like how it turned out, but there are definitely some issues. The biggest issue right now is that you can't really access the SD card. I'm aware that it's not really a design issue, since it's been my choice to have the mainboard installed in its place. There's also a really big gap between the plastic pieces, which really annoys me. This can be of course easily fixed. I've remixed the centerpiece so that there won't be any gaps. Here's a quick comparison between the old and new piece. You can see that the edges on the new piece are slightly extended. New piece pretty much eliminated the gaps, but I've used soldering iron to flatten them even more. As you can see, there are no more gaps on the front. And now it's time to install the back grill. 
Everything pretty much connects the same way as the front grill. This time I've tightened the screws before installing it on the frame. The center piece has been modified as well. The rear grill connects with the extrusion same way as the front grill but without the square blocks. The motor is not aligned with the printed piece, but that's because it will be modified in future videos. And that's how I've installed the custom switchwire grill and stands on my Ender 3. Thanks for watching.